guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we are going to do my October favorites. I can't believe October is already over. We're in the beginning of November, so I thought it'd be a good time to get this video out. If you guys have noticed, I got a little ahead of myself and started decorating for Christmas. I know you're like, Bianca, hasn't even been Thanksgiving yet. I know, I know. But I love Christmas, so I'm trying to make it last as long as I can, so that's why I have a Christmassy background started. But I'm just blabbing, so let's just get into this video. So for my first favorite, let's start with an obvious. What was in October? Halloween! And let me tell you, the Halloween season was quite busy for Sea Deity. We came out with mermaid bras! So obviously they're custom to your size and the color and everything. So what we do is we embellish them and we put shells and sparkles and glitter all over them. So these were quite the hot seller in October. And then of course, to go with the bras, we have our crown still. And I'll make sure to like shoot up a closer like image of this so you guys can really see the detail. But yeah, I mean, it was really cool to see how many orders came in and people have already been sending our pictures. So, if I can, I'll insert a couple of pictures right now. But yeah, I just think that they were awesome for Halloween. Everyone was dressing up as mermaids. And yeah, so I can't wait for you guys to see the pictures as well. Okay, so since we're still on that accessory vibe, I thought I'd go with my next favorite, which were booties. Oh my god, I love these. These were by, or these are by Chinese Laundry. Love them. They're comfortable, and then they're suede on top, and they were just a must-have. They're like this taupey color, so they went with everything that I have, and they were nice because they were easy to dress up or dress down. Definitely one of my must-haves in October. Okay, so let's switch over to skincare. With the whole season changing, it totally messed with my skin. My skin was like dry. Well, first of all, I'm oily. And then my skin was getting dry in certain areas, so I really had to find a couple of things to like tone down my skin and help like revive it. So I was just on a mission this past month to find things that my skin was loving. And I found a couple of products, so I want to share them with you. The first one was this turmeric mask. So it's just called Turmeric Meteor Dust. Um, I found this at TJ Maxx, but I'm sure I can link it down below for you. Now, for you oily girls out there, this stuff is amazing. I use this about like once or twice a week, and it just really helps like control the oils in my face. Um, so it's just turmeric, and all you do is you apply a little bit in your hand, just like a quarter size, and then you put a little bit of water, mix it, leave it on your skin for 15 minutes, and then you wash it off. And your skin just feels good, like just soft because of the turmeric kind of exfoliates your skin as you wash it off. So this stuff is amazing. I totally recommend it. So as I was saying, with this whole like season change, like my face started to get dry and kind of like dry patches. So I was on a mission to find like a uh, masks that were totally moisturizing for my face because I didn't want my skin to start flaking off. So I realized that sheet masks were like my total savior in October. This one's just a vitamin um, one with vitamin C. It says that it's formulated with a special blend of vitamins to provide an instant boost to the skin. And it did. It totally just like revived my skin and helped make sure that I didn't have my skin flaking off. And I just love this because you can really feel like the oils start to like sink into your face. And I know you oily girls, if you think that you're oily so you shouldn't be putting more oils into your face, well you should. That's actually what your face needs is that it has a lack of oil so it produces oils. So anyways, you want to put oils into your face. So this one was awesome and I loved it. My last skincare item is pore strips. I love these. These I have to use about like once a week. Um, this one is actually a charcoal pore strip. I got this again from TJ Maxx and I love these. You know I realized that charcoal a pore mask actually worked the best for me. Um, again I get a lot of like blackheads around my nose and so the charcoal really helps pull out 
everything. So this is definitely a necessity for me. So from skincare, let's jump over to makeup. So in October, I had been obsessing over two foundations. The first one is this Marc Jacobs one. This one is amazing. If you want something that lasts all day, try this one out. It's awesome. And just make sure to have your beauty blender like on hand or any sponge that you use because as soon as you put this on, it clings. So you really have to work fast. So that's just a warning. But again, if you're oily, this doesn't let any oil seep through. It's awesome. And then my second favorite from the drugstore was this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Oh, this one, again, this one actually just really compares to the Marc Jacobs one. I just think that the Marc Jacobs is a high-end, and this is a drugstore uh, dupe, in my opinion. I think it's awesome. Again, as soon as this goes to your skin, make sure to blend it out real quick. It literally clings to you, and it lasts all day. So I really have been enjoying both of these foundations. Okay, so my last makeup favorite is this Bobbi Brown Lip and Cheek Tint. Uh, this is what I have on my lips right now. I love it. It's very pigmented. I, I personally don't wear it on my cheeks just because I don't like creams on my cheeks. But it is such a beautiful color. I'll make sure to swatch this for you guys and do an up close with it. I love it. It's just a, it's an awesome product. It's moisturizing and it lasts for quite a bit. So definitely check this one out. Okay, so now we're going to move on to my miscellaneous favorites and my last favorite. So every month I am forcing myself to read a new book. And in October, I picked up Girl Boss. This was such a good book. It definitely gives you those feels. The feels of empowerment. And if there's something that you want, there shouldn't be anything to stop you. I did see the series on Netflix. That was really good. But this book is just awesome. I definitely recommend it to everyone. So definitely go check this out. I'll leave it linked down below. Okay guys, so we made it through my October favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look out for upcoming videos. I'll definitely be doing some holiday inspired videos. But make sure to give this video a thumbs up and like it down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!